Okay, so this is a revised version of my uh, motor and three-point linkage setup for the Bruder John Deere tractor. You may have seen my previous video. I'll try and leave the link in the description. My first video was literally just a, a quick fly around and a quick look at it. What I'll try and do now is give you a bit more insight into what's going on here and what my thoughts are. Okay, so on the uh, the model as I have it at the moment, the main sections, these green parts, will all be manufactured from aluminium. Um, the idea being it's lightweight, easy to machine, easy to work with, that sort of thing. Um, the motors here will be RB35 geared low voltage motors. Very easy to interface with a, an RC um electronic speed controller. You can see I've incorporated a third motor here which will run this yellow shaft which is a, a power takeoff shaft. It seemed to me that many Bruder tractor conversions didn't incorporate this and this seems like a, a great opportunity. Now I think I could install the same RB35 motor within the model and I think it will just about fit although I think in practice Probably something slightly smaller would be ideal, but for the purposes of certainly this model and just my sort of um, figuring out, that's what I've gone with. Um, if I draw a section up through the model, um, probably about there, you could get maybe a little bit more of an idea of how that's going to work. I'll have a flexible coupling on this junction here, um, and in this this piece here, which I was going to make from you know, a relatively thick piece of material, I've got space to incorporate uh, a proper bearing race to try and avoid chatter and what have you in that shaft if it's running at high speed. OK, let's take the section back off. So there we have the thing as it will appear in the model. The profile from the back, this, this green rectangle, is broadly similar to what's in the back of the Bruder tractor as it is. I think the circular gearbox casings will give the illusion of the axles of the tractor. Um, so I'm quite pleased with how they would be. They'd probably be painted on the finished model. Um, and you can see how I've incorporated the, the three-point linkage servo mounting. That again is on another piece of um, material shaped up here which will be fitted with screws through these two holes but you give you just an idea um, that servo when it's operated will offer quite a range of movement um, probably far more than you'd actually have on a, on a real tractor um, so that seems like a winner and obviously these will run on shafts with with nuts and what have you on the end i haven't i haven't fitted any of the sort of the, the pins or whatever. Um, it's not necessary on this model. I can just align the holes through the various bits and bobs with the um, with the software, so I don't need the pins. But obviously, the real model will, will need that. Also, some relief around these crevices here, because if you look, you can see that will that will bind. But however, for the purposes of this model, that's fine. The Drive motors have hubs built onto them. These are these yellow pieces. Let me take a, a cross section again and I'll show you what's going on with those. The idea, um, they are the interface, if you like, between the Bruder tractor wheels and the motors. So I'll machine these, again, probably aluminium, something like that. Um, and you get the idea. They're just sort of top hats that will sit on those shafts and enable me to bolt the the moulded polymer tractor wheels um, and fasten those onto the, the motors securely. So I'm quite pleased with that. So I've got as far as building a uh, sort of functional prototype of all of this, which I've not yet fitted into the tractor, but it all seems to all seems to work. I'm, I'm pleased with the compactness of the whole arrangement. I think probably a smaller motor for the, for the PTO would be ideal. I actually have another idea on how this might be done, which I'll show in another video when I've got the uh, entirety of the 
the tractor chassis constructed with the steering servo. But that gives you an idea of what I'm doing um, and what I, what I plan to be building for my tractor model. And there's the PTO spinning. Okay, here's how the setup might look with the wheels of the tractor installed. And you can see I've not taken the time to draw all of the, the detail on the wheels, the treads and what have you, because that's I've got better things to do in my life. But that's roughly how it looks side on. Um, that's where we're at. I just noticed as I moved that, that piece is slipped out of alignment. I've not got the complete um, drawing there. For example, that third motor and the PTO shaft is um, its not visible, is it? It's not there. I've taken that off because I'm working on one or two other things. You can also see in this case that I've, um, I've turned the motor mounting plates upside down. I just wonder whether that would be easier to swap the motors in and out should I need to. But you get the idea. We've got plenty of ground clearance under the axles. Um, obviously that's important for a tractor, probably more so in the model because the sort of terrain this is going to traverse is likely to be kind of quite out of scale. You can see how from the side the servo motor is, you know, reasonably well hidden. The mudguards on the on the Bruder model are very close fitting, so I think all of that is going to be pretty much out of sight. Nothing worse than seeing linkages and all sorts of bits and pieces getting in the way, so sort of spoiling the illusion. Uh, but you get the idea. The wheels here are proportionally the right, as, a, as you can tell. Um, there's no tread. I might get around to adding those later. You use sort of more of a racing car style at the moment, but you get the idea. Um, and I'm happy with that we've got enough ground clearance and... Um, from the from the side, it's sufficiently uh, the details sufficiently well hidden. I think to be super critical, we could look at lowering the three point linkage a little bit. It's uh, less than scale height at the moment. Well, that's not at all difficult. I could just the, the cross shaft that runs through here, the pin that these arms attach to, can just be mounted lower, and I can have a longer link in here. So I don't think that's a problem. Um, you know, I can sort of simulate that by sliding this down. In fact, that's the reason why on this model um, I deleted some of the bits and some of it's not locked in, but yeah, well, you get the idea. Um, so hopefully that's of interest to someone. If you do like it, uh, yeah, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Then I know really whether to keep bothering with this or <laughs> move on and do something else. But hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy seeing the finished product. Here's a final shot of the quick model I made just to check it would all work. Um, I've just got a cheapy servo operating it at the moment with a very very cheap servo controller which is giving a very chattery motion but you get the idea you can see how it works. <laughs>